started in a seated position today. We can sit on the shins, on the bum, on a block. Sit the spine up nice and tall. Relax the shoulder blades. Close the eyes. And then begin to turn your gaze inward. Notice any physical sensations that are present in your body. Notice any thoughts or feelings that are here in your experience. And observe the natural rhythm of the breath as it moves in and out of the nose or the mouth. Let's begin to deepen this breath. Take a full inhale and through the nose, fill up the belly and the lungs. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Again, big inhale, fill up. Open mouth, let it go. Biggest breath of the morning, sip it in all the way to the top. Hold it, sip it a little bit more. Big exhale, release. Close the mouth and begin to breathe in and out of the nose. Welcoming a smooth, steady, gentle quality to every inhale, every exhale out of the nostrils. And let's open the eyes and head to a tabletop position, hands and knees. Take your time. If you'd like to breathe a little bit longer, please do. In our tabletop, shoulders, elbows, wrists in line, hips above the knees. We'll inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale, cat, tuck the chin round the spine. Inhale, cow, soft belly, pull the heart forward. Exhale, cat, really press the ground way as you round. Keep moving through some of these cat-cow actions on your own, Just simply matching breath with movement. Feel free to add in any organic movement that would feel good, such as wiggling the hips side to side. We're circling out the neck. And then check in with the wrists as well. If you're feeling any tenderness today, let's turn the fingers back towards the knees and stretch out the wrist and forearms. We'll be playing a lot with plank and plank variations today. So welcome a little bit of warm up and activation through the wrists. Then we'll meet back in our tabletop position. Nice, strong, neutral spine. Um, reach those collarbones forward. And we're trying to find that space between cat and cow. So lengthened spine here. Press through the hands and the knees. Inhale to stretch the right heel straight behind you. Flex the foot and press the heel back. That right thigh is really firm. And then to add on, you might reach the left fingertips forward. Can we make sure the belly isn't dropping like cow pose? Can we hug that lower belly in? Take a full breath here as the fingers and the heel reach apart. Exhale to hug it in, knee to elbow round. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze it in and hold. Take a full breath in. Return to tabletop, breathe out. You might shake out wrist or wiggle the hips, and then we'll take it to the second side. So left heel will stretch straight behind you. We flex the foot, the thigh is nice and firm and the pelvis is level. Stretch the right fingertips forward to add on. And then we check in, hug lower belly in. We're not dropping or dipping. Take a full breath as fingertips and heel reach away. Exhale as we curl and connect knee to elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug it in. Last one. Inhale, reach it out. 
Exhale, squeeze it in and hold round, breathe in. Tabletop, exhale, release. Spread the fingers wide, press down through each fingertip and through the root of each finger, the base of the finger where it meets the hand. So think about really rooting down through the circumference of the palm anytime the hands are on the mat, especially in our plank pose and plank variations. And then with those hands pressing into the ground, press the ground away and feel the shoulder blades spread away from the spine. So there's a broadness across the upper back. This is a great position for the shoulders in our plank poses. Step the feet back one at a time. We're in plank now and we check in the lower belly hugs in. So there's no drop of the hips or the belly or the ribs. As we hug the lower belly in, we feel that nice length in the spine, a lot of containment and strength in the core. Take a full breath here, reach the collarbones forward. Stay for the exhale, please don't let the head drop. Inhale, hover the right foot above the ground, one-legged plank. Exhale to come up onto the left fingertips. Maybe you stretch the left fingertips forward for a balancing plank. Maybe you fall over. <laughs> Take a full breath in. Hand down, foot down, back to plank. Second side, inhale, left foot hovers. And then exhale, come onto the right fingertips to start. Maybe we reach the right fingertips forward, distributing that weight in this balance. Take a full breath in, and then return to plank, hand down, foot down. Final breath here, keep pressing the ground away. And down dog, exhale, hips back. Take a moment in down dog. You might pedal it out. We're bending to one knee at a time, wiggle the hips. Fingers still spread wide as you press the ground away and send the hips back. Hugging lower belly in, just like in plank. Take a full breath here. And a full breath out. <sighs> Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, little steps up to the top of the mat, forward fold. Grab opposite elbows here and hang. You can ragdoll, sway side to side. Relax the neck and the head. You might nod the head or shake the head. Then release the fingertips to the shins. Find halfway lift. Pull the chest forward. Reach the collarbones forward. Hug the lower belly in. So making this nice long spine, just like we had in plank pose, can we roll the shoulder blades together and down the back, press the hands into the shins and the shins back into the hands. For half lift today, let's lift the shoulders as high as the hips. This will really help to activate paraspinal muscles, uh, muscles in the back of our core. So take a full breath here and a full breath out. Reach the arms forward as you breathe in, biceps by the ears. Full exhale. There's a gentle bend in the knees. Breathe in, keep reaching the core strong. And full exhale. Take one more breath here. And then fold, exhale. Upward salute. Inhale, stand up, reach the arms overhead. Hands to heart, breathe out. Salutations, breath in movement. So just tap into your rhythm right here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Hands to heart, exhale. Adding on, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, step the right foot back, low lunge. You're on the fingertips, the chest is proud. Breathe in here. Down dog, exhale, step it back. Plank pose, inhale, roll forward. Stay for the exhale, press the ground away. Full breath here, hug the lower belly in. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Reach the arms back, locust pose. Inhale, float the chest, the hands, the feet. Down dog, exhale, plant the hands, press the hips back. Right leg up, breathe in. 
Exhale, step it up between the hands, back to low lunge. One breath here, the spine is long. Top of the mat, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, shoulders as high as the hips. Fold, exhale. Inhale, stand and reach. Hands to heart, breathe out. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fold, empty the lungs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Left foot back, exhale, low lunge. One breath here, nice long spine. Down dog, exhale, step it back. Plank pose, inhale, roll forward. Stay for the exhale, press the ground away. Full breath, hug lower belly in. Lower all the way down, exhale. Stretch the arms forward this time. Locust pose, superwoman style. As you breathe in, we lift the arms, the feet, the chest. And exhale, hands down, down dog, press it back. Left leg up, breathe in. Step it up, exhale, low lunge, get it up there. Take one breath here. Top of the mat, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Stand up, inhale, arms up. Hands to heart, breathe out. One more round, high lunge this time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Half lift, breathe in. Right foot back, exhale, low lunge. High lunge, root down, inhale, reach through the arms. Exhale, down dog. Plant the hands and step it back. Plank pose, inhale, roll. Stay for the exhale, really grip the ground with the hands. One more breath, tighten lower belly. Exhale all the way down. Cobra pose. Inhale, press the ground away, lift the chest any amount. Down dog, exhale, hips back. Right leg up, breathe in. Exhale, step it through, just breath and movement. High lunge, inhale, rise, a little bit more stability. Exhale, hands down, step to the top, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, and fold, breathe out. Stand up, inhale, reach through the fingers, hands to heart, breathe out. One more side, inhale, rise, exhale, fold. Half lift, breathe in, length. Left foot back, low lunge as you breathe out. High lunge, inhale, rise. Down dog, exhale, plant the hands, step it back. Plank pose, inhale, roll. Stay for the exhale, press those fingertips down. One more breath, we press the earth away, broad shoulders. And exhale all the way down, Sphinx Pose. Slide elbows under shoulders. Inhale to pull the heart forward. Exhale, forearm plank. Float the knees, the thighs, the hips, the belly, the ribs. Take a full breath here. Press the hands and the forearms against the ground. Stay for the exhale. Still hug lower belly in. Full breath here. Don't let the head drop. Full exhale, shoulders still spread away from the spine. We'll take one more breath in. Exhale, knees down, return to Sphinx Pose. One breath in Sphinx, gently pull forward. Down dog, exhale, press it back. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, low lunge. High lunge, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands down, step to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. And fold, breathe out. Stand up, inhale, reach up. Hands to heart, exhale. One, sun A. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, exhale, plant the hands, step back, low push-up. 
Upward facing dog, inhale, straight arms, pull the heart forward. Down dog, exhale, hips back. Pause and down dog and breathe. Take a moment to touch stillness here as you let that energy settle from moving breath to movement. Know that at any time I cue a flow or a vinyasa, you can always take locust pose, sphinx pose, chaturanga up dog, cobra pose, anything that feels best for your body. So take that decision breath by breath, movement by movement. And know that child's pose is available at any time. From downward facing dog, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. And fold, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, reach the arms up. In our chair pose, let's really feel balls of the feet, big toe and pinky toe ball mount, and the heels rooting strongly into the mat. The legs are strong, glutes are strong, we're hugging into the center. Hug lower belly in, let's keep that spine nice and tall. Take a full breath here. Sink a little lower as you exhale. Shift the weight into your right foot, hover your left heel above the mat, hover your whole left foot above the mat, one-legged chair. In one-legged chair, notice if we tilt over to one side or the other, can we make it seem like we're still standing on two feet? Nothing in the body changes except one foot is hovering above the mat. Keep that even quality to the hips and to the breath. Take one more full breath here. Maybe the hips drop a little lower. Then exhale, return, left foot down, shifting the weight into the left foot, hover right heel, hover right foot. And then check in, do we need to even out the hips? Can we keep the core nice and strong and the spine nice and long? Working on all those little stabilizing muscles here in the left leg. Take a full breath in, maybe you sink hips a little more. And exhale, back to chair pose. Full breath in chair. Sink a little lower, exhale. Breathe in, press heels down. Sink a little lower, exhale. Take one more breath, all the way down to the mat, breathe out. If you have a block or a pillow, bring it with you, and let's roll down to our backs. Knees bent, bring the block between the thighs. Squeeze the block to really get some inner thigh activation here. Then let's lift the feet up, finding this 90 degree angle in the legs, hugging into the center. Stretch the fingertips forward, lift the shoulder blades and the head off of the mat. If we need some support for the neck today, you can interlace the fingers around the back of the neck. That's what I'm gonna do. So you might stay right here. We might feel the core activating right here and this is enough, stay. If you'd like to add on, let's take a full breath here and a full breath out. Find low boat, inhale, extend the legs forward. Exhale, hug it back in. Five more times like this. Inhale, low boat, extend the legs. Exhale, hug it back in. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, reach. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale, squeeze it in one more time. Inhale to reach it out. Exhale to hug it back in. Take a full breath in. And exhale, release, remove the block. Let's hug the knees in, rock side to side. And then we'll rock and roll up and down the length of the mat. Cross the legs, head all the way to Chaturanga. Take a vinyasa of your choice. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Awesome work, y'all, moving along here. From down dog, inhale the right leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to nose, hold it here. Take a full breath in, really press the ground away. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, rise up. 
check in on your warrior two for a moment. Can we get front knee to stack above the front ankle? Maybe you sink it even lower for the front thigh to be parallel with the ground. As you stretch the arms apart, welcome broadness in the shoulders, in the upper back, in the chest. Maybe you bring your gaze over your front middle finger, finding your drishti, your focal point. Bring your attention here. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Flip your front palm, inhale, side angle pose. Exhale to reach forward and stretch the top arm overhead. So this variation of extended side angle, we have both arms reaching, but at any time you can bring the right forearm to the right thigh for a more supportive variation. But if we can today, we'll really use the core here as we hold up a big ball of air between the hands. And then Think about how the core is really working extra hard here as we reach. The legs are working extra hard here without having that elbow to sort of give it some rest. So take a full breath here. You are strong. And a full exhale. Take one more breath. Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Root into the front foot and start to shift the weight into that right leg as you float the left leg up. So right here, you might use a block underneath the right hand, or maybe you use a table or a chair. For a little bit of an extra balance challenge, you might start to hover the right fingertips above the ground or above your block. Maybe you take your gaze from the ground and bring it to the side or even up. Keep stretching left heel back, hugging lower belly in. Take a full inhale. Warrior two, slowly step it back. Skandasana, back of the mat, bend deep into your left knee as you sink the bum down. I take a little bit of a higher skandasana just because of my knees, but if you can, sink your bum all the way down to that left heel. And then you might flex the right foot and point the toes up to the sky. For a challenge today, instead of letting the hands touch the ground, if we're in a deep skandasana, see if we can bring hands to heart or even reach the arms up. This will just make muscles of the core work a little bit more. Take a full breath in. Exhale, low lunge, top of the mat, crawl forward. Press the fingers or the hands down. Inhale, hover the right foot above the mat. Plank pose. Exhale, step it back. Full breath in plank, press the ground away. Stay for the exhale, hug the lower belly in. Breathe in. Exhale, vinyasa of your choice. Moving with the breath as you return back to down dog. Second side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee left elbow. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, opposite elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold it, take a full breath in. Step between the hands, exhale. Back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, rise. Same moment here on this side as you just arrive in your shape. Checking in distance between the feet. Maybe we even broaden our stride, the distance between the feet if we'd like to get a little bit more work here in the thighs. Can we find that level, even quality of the hips that makes way for a nice long spine, a nice strong core to support. Stretch the arms, broaden the upper back. Gaze forward, the tension is here. There's nowhere else to be. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Flip your front palm, inhale. Side angle, exhale as you reach and stretch the top arm overhead, palm face down. Imagine you're holding something here you don't wanna drop. We're rooting strongly through the feet and the core is nice and active. So legs and core working extra hard here in this variation. But no, of course, always you can bring the forearm down for more support.
If we do bring the forearm down, make sure we press the forearm into the leg and we get a little bit of more space here in the neck and the shoulder. Take a full breath in, you've got this. And a full breath out. Breathe in. Option to stay or Ardha Chandrasana as you root into the front foot. We'll start to shift the weight forward, floating the back leg up. Press that right heel straight back, firm thigh, strong glutes, really strong core stabilizing you here. Maybe you bring something under the left hand for support. Or maybe we play with floating the left hand above the ground or above our prop to play with a little extra challenge here in our balance, in our stability. Maybe you bring your gaze to the side or up for even more of a challenge. Keep reaching top arm up, actively reaching through every limb. Take a full breath in. Warrior two, soft landing. Skandasana, back of the mat, bend deep into that right knee. You can flex the left foot as you point the toes up. Maybe you sink the bum to the heel. Maybe it's a little bit higher. Maybe you have the right heel grounded or lifted. But wherever you are, maybe you play with floating the fingertips up, bringing the hands to heart. We're reaching the arms up for a little bit extra balance work. Take a full breath here. Low lunge, top of the mat. Exhale, crawl forward to frame the left foot. Root down through the hands. Inhale, left foot hovers. Plank pose, exhale, step it back. Inhale, spread fingers wide, press the ground away. Hug the lower belly in as you breathe out. One more breath here, reach the collarbones forward. Exhale, vinyasa, lower half or all the way. Up dog, baby cobra, your choice, breathe in. Down dog, exhale, hips back. Take about three breaths and down dog, optional child's pose. Return to breath. Return to that connection with the mat through hands and feet. And moving on. Downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. And fold, breathe out. Chair pose, bend the knees, sink the hips, reach the arms, and then shift the weight into the right foot. Hover the left heel above the mat. Hover the whole left foot above the mat. We're here again in one leg chair. Take a full breath in, maybe you sink the hips a little lower. Exhale, step that left foot to the back of the mat as slow as you can for a high lunge. And then take a moment to find your balance in the shape. Checking in, we still have knee above ankle. If you'd like an extra challenge here, you can wiggle that front foot forward until our right thigh is parallel with the ground. Hips nice and even as they point forward. Sink in as deep as you can without sacrificing integrity here. Stretch through the fingertips, lift through the spine, lift out of the low back, broaden the chest. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Breathe in. Exhale to hinge forward, keeping the arms by the ears, just hinging from the hips. We're now making a long line from the fingertips to the back heel. Hug the lower belly in. Take a full breath, drive through the front foot. Stay for your exhale, keep that length. Breathe in, strong lower body. Warrior three, exhale as you shift the weight forward. Full breath, stretch fingertips and heel away from each other. Continue to breathe here. Keep reaching arms forward. Keep reaching heel back. Hug lower belly in. Feel everything squeezing into the center as we level out the hips left and right in line making a long line from fingertips out the back of the leg. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Breathe in. Exhale, left knee into the chest. One leg Tadasana, stand it up. 
Breathe in here, flex that left foot, find your balance. Slowly to chair pose, exhale, sink. Breathe in, chair. Sink a little lower, exhale. Full breath here. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Vinyasa, exhale, step it back. Then flow through your chaturanga, back bend, meeting in downward facing dog. Second side. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale, rise. Let's sink a little lower as you breathe out. Shift the weight into the left foot. Hover the right heel, hover the right foot. One leg chair, breathe in that left foot root so strong. Maybe you sink a little lower as you exhale. And then we'll slowly start to step that right foot all the way back as slow as you can with control. High lunge. Take a moment to adjust your shape. Sinking in here. You might even widen the distance of the feet. If you'd like to find a little bit more work in the thighs, you can bring that left thigh parallel with the ground. Just making sure we still have knee above front ankle. And then here, we're orienting forward, pelvis forward, ribs forward, broad chest, hugging lower belly in. Take a full breath in, find that nice upright spine. Full exhale, feel the strength of the legs. Breathe in, continue to reach. Exhale to hinge forward from the hips. Just moving about 45 degrees forward. Spine stays long, arms stay long as they reach. We're still driving through the feet. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out, tighten lower belly. Breathe in, press strongly through your left foot. Warrior three, start to shift forward as you float the back leg up. Check in. Reach the right heel back. Reach the fingertips forward. Create that long line of energy from fingertips to heel. Hug lower belly in. Even out the hips, left and right hip in line. Notice if that right hip is opening up. Can we gently roll it down? Belly in, collarbones forward. Take a full breath here, hugging into the center. Exhale, right knee into the chest, one leg to Dasana. Stand it up, you got the balance here. Take a full breath in, slow to chair pose, exhale. Breathe in, chair, sink a little lower, breathe out. Full breath in, stay upright. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Vinyasa or skip it, downward facing dog is where we'll meet. We got one more full sequence and then we'll play with a um, little bit more plank work and then we'll be cooling down. So home stretch here. From downward facing dog, inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, travel to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in and fold, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale, drop the hips and reach. Hands to heart, exhale. Take a full breath here, sink the hips a little lower, spine long. Prayer twist to the right, exhale, left elbow hovers above the right thigh. So instead of making that connection, we're letting that elbow hover, and that's gonna make the obliques, the side abdominals, side of core, work a little bit more in the shape. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Keep turning the chest. Breathe in, maybe sink the hips a little lower. Full exhale, keep the spine long. Shift the weight into your right foot. Then hover your left heel above the mat. Maybe you hover the whole left foot. Take a full breath in. Slow as you can, step that left foot back. Prayer twist. Lunge, hover, hover that elbow still above the thigh. Take a full breath in and a full breath out, turning the chest. Breathe in, really squeeze hip 
hips in. Stay for the exhale. Balance stability. You got this. Keep inhaling. Spine long. Full exhale. Breathe in. Really drive through the front foot. Last breath out. Open the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Root down. Rise up to an open twist lunge. Bring the back hand to the back thigh. Inhale. Reverse revolve. Reach up and back. Low lunge. Twist. Left hand down. Right arm up. And our low lunge twist, make sure we don't press the hips out to the right. Think about squeezing into center. And then instead of getting heavy and dropping the hips, think about lifting up a little bit here. As we reach through the fingertips, as we reach the hips gently up and in, squeezing. Left hand, fingers spread wide as we press the ground away, creating that space for the shoulder. Take a moment to look down at the left arm. Spin the left elbow crease to face the thumb. Take a full breath here. Come to the outside edge of the back foot. Heel toe the right foot to the right and back. Great place to stay supported side plank or full vashistasana. Stack the right leg on top of the left. Keep pressing the ground away as you reach the right fingertips up. Take a full breath here. Hug the lower belly in. Stay for the exhale. Keep lifting the hips, breathe in, full exhale, don't let the head drop. Breathe in, you got this. Plank pose, exhale, hand down. Full breath in plank, exhale, vinyasa, or skip it, downward facing dog. One more side. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. And fold, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale, rise. Hands to heart, exhale. Take a full breath here, drop the hips, lift the chest. Prayer twist to the left. Exhale, right elbow hovers above the left thigh. So just an inch or so above the leg. Could be higher if that feels better for you. But keep turning the chest here and finding a length in the spine as we really work to include our obliques in the action of this twist. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Maybe we sink a little lower. Breathe in here, really drive down through the left foot. Exhale, hover the right heel above the mat, maybe the whole right foot. Take a full breath in, as slow as you can. Step that right foot to the back of the mat, coming into our prayer twist lunge with the elbow hovering above the thigh still. Can we check in here? Return to steadiness, return to breath. We still have front knee above ankle, elbow hovering as the chest turns. Feel glutes working really hard as we squeeze strongly into the center and find stability. Left foot drives down, ball of back foot drives down, chest pulls forward, spine pulls forward, length. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Steady and calm, breathe in and breathe out. Open the arms, inhale, exhale, rise to open twist. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse revolve. Low lunge, twist. Right hand roots down, left arm reaches up. We still have that same shape here with the left foot rooting down, the ball of the back foot rooting down. Even think about squeezing left heel and ball of the back foot in towards each other. As the left hand reaches, we press down through the right hand, pressing the ground away, finding a little more opening through the shoulder here. Check in with the arm. Can we spin the elbow crease of the right arm to face the right thumb? Heel toe the left foot to the left and back. Come to the outside edge of the back foot. Stay here or Vashistasana. Stack the left leg on top of right side plank. 
Check in here. Let's press the hips up. Press the hand away from the ground. Still keeping that broadness in the shoulder. Breathe in here. Hug lower belly in. Stay for the exhale. Full breath. Active and strong. Full exhale. Let's get one more breath in. Plank pose, hand down. Breathe in, plank. Vinyasa or skip it, downward facing dog. We'll play with one more shape and then we're gonna be cooling down. So downward facing dog, inhale the right leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Hold it, take one breath in. Kick the right leg to the left, fall in triangle. Left arm reaches up. And then right here, use the core. First, let's come to the full left foot on the mat. And then let's hover the right foot above the ground using nice strong core to lift the right foot up. Take a full breath here and a full breath out. Breathe in, keep lifting the hips, lifting the foot. Stay for the exhale, this is the end. One more breath. Exhale, left hand down, right leg back. One legged plank, inhale, roll forward. Exhale, vinyasa or skip it. Shake out the wrists if you need. One more side, and that's the end of our flow work here. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee left elbow. Inhale, up and back. Knee to nose, breathe out. Inhale, reach. Opposite elbow, exhale, hold it. Take a full breath in. Kick the left foot to the right, exhale, right arm reaches up. And then can we ground that right foot completely as we float the left leg up, really using strong core to lift that left leg up. Just like in side plank, left hand roots down and presses the ground away. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. You might point that left foot, breathe in and breathe out. Let's take one more full inhale. Exhale, hand down, left leg up. Inhale, one-legged plank, roll forward smooth. Final vinyasa of class, take it or leave it. Meeting in downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, roll forward to plank pose. Final plank of class. Checking back in one last time. Check in fingers spread wide, gripping ground with fingertips and root of the fingers. We press the ground away, broad in the upper back. Hug the lower belly in. Take a full breath plank. Exhale all the way down to the belly, hallelujah. We'll stretch the right arm out to the right. Scorpion stretch, bend the left knee. Rock the weight onto the right side of your body. Stamping that left foot behind you. Or maybe it hovers above the ground. Right hand, palm face down. Welcome the breath to slow down. Welcome ease to enter. Send breath into front of the shoulder and the chest. Maybe you reach your left arm up. Maybe you bind the left arm around the small of the back if you'd like to get a little more opening through the chest. Welcome the breath to steady. Take a final inhale. And exhale, slowly roll back to center. 
Second side, stretch that left arm long. Bend the right knee, rock onto the left side of the body. And maybe the foot taps down, maybe not. Sending some love, some gratitude to those muscles that hold us up in all of our planks, in all of our chaturangas that allow us to step on the mat and move our bodies. So breathing some gratitude into the chest, into the shoulders. It might feel good to reach the right arm up or bind it around the small of the back. Returning deeper and deeper into stillness with each breath as we cool down. Take a final breath here. And slowly come back to center. Let's stretch the arms back for a locust pose. We'll float the palms, the feet and the arms, the chest above the mat. Option to interlace the fingers behind you and reach the knuckles back, lifting the palms or the forearms off of the bum. This will give a little more opening to the chest. And then as we reach the knuckles back, we slide the shoulders down and together. Maybe you stay here, or if you'd like something a little bigger that gets you on through the rest of your day, let's bend the knees and catch the inner or outer ankles for bow pose. If we have those ankles, let's press the legs back to lift the chest even more. Any amount of the thighs lifts up. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. One more inhale. Feel free to stay longer if you'd like. When you're ready, slowly come back down. You can bring one cheek down. You might rock the legs side to side, windshield wiper. Relax the legs, hands plant, come up to tabletop position, and then let's slide to a seated position. So bring the bum down to the mat, the legs out in front of you. We'll plant the feet, bend the knees. Let's reach the arms forward and slowly roll down to our backs. One vertebrae at a time. Hug the right knee into the chest, give it a squeeze. Cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh, figure four. Cross, uh, flex that right foot, interlace the fingers around the back of the left leg, and hug the legs in towards the chest. Relax the shoulders. Relax the head. Relax the breath and the whole body. Find deep, slow breaths here, five of them. Take a final inhale, exhale, release the shape. Second side, hug left knee in, cross left ankle over right thigh. Flex the foot and let's grab around the back of the right leg, hug the legs in. And welcome softness and ease as shoulder blades and head relax. Sink back into the breath. Bring your attention there to calm the mind and the body. Five deep breaths.
final inhale. And exhale, release. Bring the arms out to a T. And shift the hips a little bit over to the right. Pick those feet up 90 degree in the legs. And then let the knees fall to the left. Gaze can stay up or go to the right. Spinal twist. And welcome the shoulder blades to melt towards the ground. Our right shoulder doesn't have to touch down, but just think about it moving in that direction. The muscles of the face relax. Hips, knees, and feet relax. We'll inhale slowly back to center. Move those hips back through center now a little bit to the left. Pick the feet up, knees move right, and gaze moves left, second side. We welcome the belly to soften and expand with each breath. We hold a lot of tension in our bellies, in our stomachs, throughout our days, throughout our lives. So right here, can you just let it hang out, let it go. There's nothing to hold on to. The same goes with the breath. Just effortlessly in and out of the nose. Nothing to hold on to. And inhale back to center. Reposition the hips so they're even on the mat. Let's hug both knees into the chest. Happy baby, grab the outside edges of the feet, the ankles or the shins. And let's rock side to side. Maybe it feels good to bend and extend one leg at a time, a little stretch for the inner thighs. If there's any final shapes you would like to make, make them. If you're ready for a rest, let's hug both knees into the chest, hug the forehead up to the knees, give yourself a big squeeze, a big hug, a big genuine thank you to yourself for showing up to move your body, to breathe with your body. It's not always easy to step on the mat, and you did it. Let's take a full breath here. Shavasana, let the legs and the arms come out long where you'll find any shape that is the most comfortable for your body to rest. And here we seize all tension, all effort. Feel your body resting on the ground. Use these last moments of class for rest, for stillness.
your body resting on the ground. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Welcome any gentle movement as you return from stillness. Feel free to stay on your back, rest as long as you'd like. If you'd like to seal a class together, you can press up to seated. We'll bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. And take a final breath together. Full inhale, fill up. Open mouth, share your breath. Thank you all so much for sharing your practice. Namaste.